What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in to another Witches Rock Surf Capsules. My name is Ryan. I work in the reservations of Witches Rock Surf Camp. And here we are in beautiful Playa Tamarindo, Costa Rica, standing on the beach about 200 yards away from, uh, from Witches Rock Surf Camp. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about another wave in Tamarindo that's called Pico Pequeño. Uh, right now we're here at low tide, which is not the ideal time to surf Pico Pequeño, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what's going on uh, kind of on the bottom so that when the tide does come in and we come back here, you'll have a better idea of, uh, of kind of how the wave works. So as you can see behind me, um, there's a lot of rocks that are sticking out. What these rocks will do when the tide comes in, you won't be able to see them. Maybe you'll be able to see the very top of them, but what these waves will do will act as a way to refract the wave. So the swell comes in straight from the horizon. Once it hits this wave, it will refract around it and create the waves, to, the one wave to angle and to come at each other and create what we call a wedge. Um, usually the wave doesn't get that big, uh, but it does hold a lot of power it has really good shape and it can be a great alternative um, or kind of a great step up from the beginner's beach break which is pretty much right in between Pico Pequeño and the estuary. So ideally what you want for Pico Pequeño is number one high tide. Uh, pretty much the higher the tide the better. You want at least maybe six or seven feet of water on there and it can get all the way up to 11 feet of water. Um, so yeah more water the better that's going to create the wave, um, going to allow the wave to retain its power as it refracts, as it comes from deep water. The second thing you need is obviously, a, you know, not a big swell, but definitely some, definitely some swell. Today, uh, it's pretty small. I'm not sure if it's going to, if it's going to start working at high tide. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But what you want, you want, you know, decent period, maybe 14, 15 seconds and up and also um, good size so that Tamarindo can receive the brunt of the swell. Um, as with any of these spots here in Tamarindo, you want a little, a good westerly component. So um, maybe 205 degrees and up so that the wave can get over, Capitan can come through the Isla Capitan, the island right offshore, can come more straight in from the horizon. So that's really what you want is you want the high tide, you want a nice westerly angle, and you want a little bit of size to go along with it. And it can form not the biggest wave, but a really fun, powerful, good shaped wave on the inside. And it's a great option um, for the Groms, great option to come as a family and get some good waves. And uh, yeah, I've surfed this wave a bunch of times. It's a great little escape. You know, when the, t when the conditions are right, I'll run out from my, from my spot at Witch's Rock and hey, I'll come and catch some little waist to chest high wedges and it can be really fun. So stay tuned, we're gonna come back when the tide's a little bit higher and see if the wave is working. Um, like I said, right now with the low tide is not ideal, but you can at least see what's going on out there um, to have an understanding of how the wave works. So stay tuned, we'll be back in a second. All right, welcome back. By the magic of video editing, we're here with the high tide. It's about five hours later, six hours later. And as you can see, the rocks behind me are completely covered up. Maybe there's a little bit popping out. Um, the waves didn't really come up too much, um, but I just wanted to show you guys how much the tide really does change here and how much it can have an effect on the swell itself. Hopefully we can cut to some good surf in our B-roll, but once again, thank you for tuning in to the surf capsule. Hope that next time you come down here, we can get some waves together. And until next time, Pura Vida from Witches Rock Surf Camp here in Tamarindo.